picture up on the mantle, right where the most important picture of the home goes, over the mantle. And he sat there and he just fell in love with his son all over again and wept. It wasn't long after that this wealthy man had passed. And the way things had worked in his will, that all of the paintings would be liquidated. And so there was a large auction that came and many people were gathered in the home of this wealthy man, now passed. And the auctioneer got up before the crowd in front of the mantle and he said, uh, the auction today is going to go like this. The first painting that's to be auctioned is the, auction, is the painting of the sun over the mantle. And so can I have a bid for the painting of the sun? And a few seconds went by and there were no bids like there normally would be. And the auctioneer said, this is the first painting that has to be sold. So until we have a bid for the sun, we cannot move on with the rest of the auction. More silence. But then the gardener of the home, who was sitting at the back of the crowd, he bid $10 for the painting. It was all he had. It's, it's written that he would bid more, but it was all he had. And he bid $10 for the painting. Auctioneer says, were there any other bids? No other bids. Silence. Going once, going twice. The son's painting goes to the gentleman at the back of the room. He said, now, by order of the will, this was a precondition before everything was set up. The father was so taken by the son that whomever today chose the son would get all the rest of the paintings. This auction is over. The son who took, the, the man who took the son's painting gets all the rest. Dear friends, when we choose this man that only God made. His name is Jesus. When we choose the Son, we get it all. It's one of my favorite stories, isn't it? When we choose the Son this morning, we get it all. You know, when Peter was with that crowd and they baptized 3,000 that day and they all repented and all were baptized, they were all choosing the Son, weren't they? Do you choose the Son this morning? You know, as a believer, I find myself challenged to choose the Son every day. I re up. I don't get saved every day, you know that. But in all honesty, we should wake up every day and say, I choose the Son. I want the painting of the sun. I want the man on the cross. That's good enough for me. You can have the world. But Jesus says, if you choose me, you get it all. I mean, what better deal is, is there than that? So in the middle of this pandemic, again, I simply offer to you the Savior, the Son. Would you choose him today? He wants to be your Savior. He wants to be your Lord in Christ. Heavenly Father, in this hour, as we broadcast across the miles and the, and the airwaves, we know that you are Lord in Christ. No matter